Let's get started here. We are on Sky Temple and our team on the left hand side in the blue trunks is Team Acer with Holo on Zeratul, Greenout playing Malfurion, Zahn playing Arthas, Zypho on Valor and last but not least Lotus playing Tassadar. Their opponents on the right side as the red team, Nasty here, Whiskey Coca, <laughs> Nasty is playing Nazebo, uh, Tuj uh, Brege, is, uh, Brege, QQ <laughs> is playing Felstad, Blade is playing the new hero Thrall, and Tunje is playing Muradin, and finally we have Uther joining the fray, and he is played by Revi. So you can see already, uh, Watchtower has been taken here by Whiskey Coca. I feel like they will probably do pretty well here early on. They have Thrall. Um, he can be a massive feat to uh, any team. And hiding in the bushes here, but of course uh, Tower has been taken and there comes the first attack onto Zeratul. Mirrodin's giving chase here and dropping straight in. Ooh, nice zombie wall, but of course uh, with Blink, Holo can get out of there. So, give you that tap screen here for um, Yorkshire Pigu, just so you can screenshot that real quickly. So far, Whiskey Coco not doing too bad. Yordan fighting up with Holo here, and Nazebo joining the fray. This could be dangerous. There's a zombie wall. Ooh, and Zahn Green out, both of them trapped. Unfortunately, they don't really have the follow up to do any real damage here. And it's pretty close to the wall as well. But Holo getting trapped. There's a stun, and of course, a blink to get out of there. And Zahn, well, he can take a beating, so Blade uh, can wail away at him for quite some time. First two temples coming in, always top and middle. So keep that in mind. And so far, not anyone going for them there. Everything's concentrating in the middle here. Zebo, a little bit of a tough spot over here, but he did spot their tool. So it should be fine. And Zypho, uh, not really going for anyone here, but ooh, could get dangerous. With three heroes out of Whiskey Coca going for him. And Benji over there, also taking out the towers already here in the mid lane. Whiskey Coca have a pretty solid hold on this middle temple, and Arthas is taking the top temple for Team Acer. Uh, there we go, Holo trying something here, but I feel like without Arthas they can't really contest this middle temple. Fortunately uh, for Whiskey Coca, they don't really have anyone going for that top temple, and they're pretty low on health here as well. Jungje needs to get out of that fight. Oh, he's incredibly low, green out going for him. Holo coming in from the back, Blade taking so much damage, he's taken out, and Malfurion taken out on the side of Acer. Can Zypho and Lotus take over here? Muradin's taken out meanwhile, but Nizibo also going for it. Oh jeez, that's four heroes down for Whiskey Coca. And only one takedown here um, on their side. So Team Acer definitely taken over. Getting a couple shots in the middle temple as well. But um, I think mostly top temple has been taking it for Team Acer for quite some time, and so was mid lane by Whiskey Coca. But four kills, that's not bad. That's not bad for the beginning here. And now we have both teams going for the Mercs. Cruiser Cam will be taken here by Whiskey Coca, and on the other side, we have Team Acer also going for the Bruiser Cam. Meanwhile, Felset has joined bot lane, soaking up a little bit of XP. They need to gain a little bit uh, more XP to catch up here. Both of them are level 6 now. So we'll be able to check their next talents here pretty soon. Looks like Vala is going for the multi-shot build. Battle Momentum as a third skill. Arthas, of course, with an Venom here. And oh, Zypho is in trouble! Blade, Tunje and... Revy are coming in, but can they put out another stun? Doesn't look like it, but maybe they're... Oh, Thrall putting out so much damage. There comes the stun, and Zypho goes down. Tassadar can hold this for now. The fort is still standing, so they need to watch out. Shouldn't go too deep into it. Uh, looks like Whiskey is gearing up to take the boss. It's still quite early, and they only took out one hero, and Bella is joining the fray again. Oh, Holo catching some damage, and wow, what a takedown here. As I said, Whiskey Coca, they're not doing too bad in the early game. Zahn needs to watch out as well, but Greenout is coming in. Going for a heal and trying to stop this with a root. But, ooh, what a nice zombie wall. Zahn is trapped. Tunja needs to watch out, needs to drop out, but no, he can't save himself. And now there's a turnaround. Acer coming for it. Blade is quite low. He's low on mana as well. There's a storm. Rage can 
draft out of that, so he's going to be fine, but Blade, wow, you need to watch out, you're still quite low. And everything's still joining the middle again here. Now let's see what else we have here on the talent side. Of course, Tesla um, going for enhancements on his Storm and taking Healing Ward. Mirrodin, on the other hand, um, taking the Storm Bolt increase on all sides. Oh, nasty! He's incredibly low! Whiskey needs to watch out. They're going for Zahn. I don't really like this focus firing out of Whiskey. And there's Blade going down. Ravi is in trouble as well, but looks like they can stay safe behind that wall. But this gives free reign for Acer to go for that bottom temple. And it's already taken quite a few shots here. Wall is down. Top tower also taking a lot of damage. This is really hurting Whiskey Coca quite a bit. And Holo. Can he make something happen here? No, just pushing a little bit with the creeps. Uh, looks like Whiskey completely gave up on taking that temple. And instead, uh, we'll soak up a little bit of XP in the mid lane. The boss will be taken here for Team Acer. And looks like they're handling it quite well. Whiskey Coco, in the meantime, they're gonna just let this slip and instead wait for the next temples to spawn. But they just lost their fort in the bot lane. So that's the first fort kill here on the side of Team Acer. And the boss is walking, walking along, taking a walk here in the bot lane, and might smash a little bit more if it's not stopped. But I think with the whole of Whiskey Coca coming in, they should be fine dealing with this. Blade needs to watch out though. Um, if he's staying in the back there, uh, Team Acer could really go for a surprise attack. Oh, looks like they're going for a siege camp here in the bot lane. And right now, Whiskey can't really deal with this. They need to stop the boss first, otherwise uh, their keep might be in trouble. Or at least the wall, and they don't really want to lose that. Oh, nice Void Prison coming out of Holo. They're going for that fight, everyone's joining the fray. Ravi taking so much damage, he's going down immediately. So is Murden, and Blade there on the other side. He needs to watch out, this wall will definitely fall now. First tower is taken out, second tower also in trouble. And that gate, as soon as that's gone, Nasty and Blade are definitely in a huge amount of trouble. Couple of minions coming in, Nasty is trapped, and an amazing root coming out of Arthas. And only Blade and Breji here to stop this. I think the keep might still stand, but nope, not with the Siege Giants coming in. But ooh, Tassadar, a little bit over eager there. Nice takedown, but still that's 5 to 11 kills and a 2 level difference. And already one, da one lane down, almost all the way to the keep. Already took some damage and took quite a few shots as well. So Team Acer definitely on top of things. Let's have a look at the uh, damage done so far. Oh, Valor really hitting home here. 26,000 siege damage and uh, 16,000 hero damage. That's not bad at all. And Malfurion doing a pretty good job healing as well. Uh, even more than Uther is. So not bad at all. Alright, looks like everyone's gearing up for the next temples. Uh, Muradin and Ravi already took the watchtower here, and top and bottom temples will spawn here pretty soon. Let's see which team is going for which temple. Sometimes you see, especially if you have a big level discrepancy like this one, sometimes you see effects where just one team uh, goes for one temple, the other one goes for the other. But right now, Whiskey Coca taking both temples, and oh, nice trap laid out here by Zebo. One for two of these heroes. And Zypho, oh, they're hunting Toonjay, he's in trouble. And that's the five-man sandwich. Going down on Muradin. So, Falstead is the only one taking this bottom temple right now. But he could fly away once he's, once he's not really in control of the game anymore. Down there, but Whiskey Coca. They're just going for the Bruiser Camp and let this top, top temple go. They can't really engage right now. And let's see, level 13 talent from Muradin, still missing. Ooh, Felstead, he didn't get away. Jeez. And there's Rewind coming out of him. Or Sprint for Nazebo makes a lot of sense, and Sprint for Ufer also makes a lot of sense. No real surprises so far. Spell Shield uh, for Arthas, that's okay. And now Whiskey Coca in complete defense mode. That's a bruiser camp being stolen here by Acer. Two levels ahead. And right now Whiskey Coca, they can't really do all that much about it. They need to stand back. They need, they need to watch out and keep their keeps alive. Otherwise uh, they might run into issues once the catapults get there. 
that is a huge blow uh, to their ability to go out of their base. So right now, just sticking together, waiting for that next temple to go up. Egg. They could go for the Seed Shine camp down here, but um, doesn't really uh, come in too handy right now. They need to stop the Bruises in, in top lane. And yeah, there's already quite a few going towards this. Holo is there waiting in the top. And he's going to support this quite a bit. But right now, Whiskey, they're not really going for any of this. They're just sticking together, letting the Bruises roam in top lane. Oh, they seem a little bit clueless as what as to what to do. Kinda weird. But there's Acer breaching the walls and Holo stepping in. So far, Whiskey Coca have a really, really solid line here. Holding good, but oh what a void prison. Taking them completely out of this fight. And now Acer is joining in there. Tunjay is in trouble. He's taken out. And Nasty going to the front lines, that's not usually a good idea as, Na as Nasty will, and they instead just going for him. Can retreat for now, but Blade is in trouble as well there. Uh, looks like Acer doesn't really want to overextend. Nasty, so incredibly low, and he's taken out, and so was Zeratul in that last engagement. Blade wants to hold on, but this is 4v1, he can't really do all that much. So he's just gonna stand there for a little bit, but this keep is in definite trouble. Two second cooldown on Uther and Njordan. Once they join the fray, they might be able to stop this, but I don't think it's gonna be happening here. Sundering is available, but no other heroics. Oh, Zahn is in trouble. There comes the jump by Njordan, and another heal out of Milfurion. Can Zahn get away? He might be able to, but no, oh, Njordan falls for the trap. And Zahn is taking quite a bit of damage, but I think he can heal himself. The keep, meanwhile, did go down. Tessida um, got the final damage out. And Lotos, oh, yeah, he's just gonna sacrifice himself. But he did take out the keep, so I think that is a fair trade here. And they're still far ahead in XP. Wow, Zon still being chased. And now they finally have him. Oh, will they? Will they, though? Holo coming in, and Felts are taken out. Now Muradin's in trouble. This is the turnaround that Acer wanted. Arf is just giving such a long chase. Tunjay, can he get away? He's pretty low on mana. But, oh, saddling up. Ooh, Holo going for it. Valor's on the stack, and that's Muradin going down. Looks like Whiskey Coca is um, searching, searching for something here. Going for the t bottom temple. And it took quite a bit of damage here in the mid lane. Oh, top lane. Also taking quite a bit of damage. So that's uh, three forts. That might go down here, if Whiskey can hold on to this temple a little bit longer. Yep, that's a top fort going down. Another Void Prison, and everyone's going in there once again. Ravi taking quite a bit of damage, but a good Divine Storm, keeping them back. And looks like Hotan is the only one that's staying in there. But still, that's, that's still too good. Nasty is incredibly low right now, and now Zypho joins in, there's the Reign of Vengeance. And taking out Zypho, taking out Thrall, and Uther is the final one to fall here. Wow, Acer definitely on a rampage tonight. Two levels ahead. And yeah, I think they're about to take out a keep here pretty soon. Gonna go for the boss once again. Might be able to take a siege camp on, uh, or actually take two siege camps. MJ is waiting there. I don't really see him interventing, but Elsa is joining here. It's only two heroes versus five, that's not really gonna work. But they're gonna try it nevertheless. Going for the steal? No, not not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. But at least they do get away for now. And yeah, there's that steal in the siege camp. Other camp has been... Has it been bribed? Did... No. No, not bribed, he just took over. He, he just took over. Didn't take all that long though. That's two siege camp, the boss, and the entire team of Team Acer going for this lane. I think uh, Whiskey Coker is in some mighty trouble. And Frost is already wailing away at the keep. Polo coming in there. Definitely trying to lure out Whiskey Coca a little bit. Let's keep going down. Let's see what they're gonna do. The boss still has health help. Ooh, nice Void Prison getting two heroes in there. And Blade can't really save himself. Ooh, he's incredibly low. Reign of Vengeance immediately on top of that. And Toonjay quite low as well. 
he can't get it out either. Maybe it's the next one. Ooh, Rage. Nasty, catching quite a bit of fire there as well. And with a stun, they finally take him out. So Felset is the only one stopping this, but the shields are already down. Core is taking damage, 30%, 20%. Acer is going to take this first game. Wow, and that's with a pretty much complete dominance uh, throughout the match. They, well, it, I think the second team fight went quite well for Whiskey Coca, but that was about it.